Hello, this is John Mount from WinVector LLC, a statistics, algorithms, and data science consulting and training company. I'd like to talk to you briefly about a new feature from R Studio called R Notebooks. R Notebooks are available in the R Studio code preview, so they're a little new, but soon they'll be available in production. R Studio has always supplied an interactive running environment for the statistical software system called R. R and R Studio have always allowed interactive computations such as adding one or plotting. You also may be familiar with the system called R Markdown. With R Markdown, Markdown style text and R computations can be interleaved into blocks. These blocks can either be run in the R console. We've already seen one difference from RStudio Classic Markdown. The results are in line with our Markdown document as we edit it. This is probably something backported from the new notebook functionality. We can also knit the entire file into one prepared result, which can be a Markdown format, Word format, PDF format, or even HTML format. And as you can see, text, calculations, and even plots can all be included as you go. These documents have always been really great because the input source format is text, which means they're very compatible with source control. You can email them, you can edit them, and if you're using source control, you can see who changed what. However, they've also imposed a somewhat undesirable separation of calculation and presentation, which some people that are used to Jupyter or IPython notebooks or Beaker did not like. Our notebooks address this separation by creating a new intermediate form that is somewhat more interactive. We can create a new R notebook using the pre-release version of R Studio by saying file, new file, R notebook. You'll see it looks a lot like an R markdown document, except for the output type is HTML notebook. The thing that we can now do with our notebooks that we couldn't previously do with our markdown is when we run what is called a code chunk, the results are placed in line in the notebook presentation. We can also, of course, render the entire thing into an HTML preview, which not only brings up a preview browser, but produces a ready-to-go HTML file, which itself can be published or shared. We actually saw one of these inline results when we demonstrated the markdown. However, we think this is backported functionality from the new notebook software, and we assume that the HTML notebook has more display controls than the original Markdown HTML would. This embedding of results as if they're in the document allows for better organization of code and results while working, and the R notebooks are still a pure text format. The results are stored external to the source code, making this, again, very compatible with source control systems in sharing with collaborators. I think R notebooks will be a very important collaborative data science tool going forward. I think R Studio will obviously bring them to full production very soon. And I hope you've enjoyed this little commentary on R notebooks, a technology I'm excited about and happy to share with clients. Thank you for your time. This is John Mount from WinVector LLC.